Oh God. The Spirit of God says, listen to me. I came to my disciples and I asked them a question that I ask of you this night. Who do men say that I am? For there is many that are looking and they are misreading my signs. But they are misreading my character at this hour. But I even say, as I said to my disciples, who do you say that I am? For I speak at this time that I will bring revelation to those who will truly seek to know who I am and what I'm doing and how I'm choosing to manifest at this hour. Therefore, pay attention. For I speak of a time now over your country as you enter in through the spring months. You enter into the summer months and you are nearing the time of the fall. For I say to you that it is not just the time of a natural fall, a natural season, but this is my season that I proclaim unto this nation. It is the season of my great fall and it has been a long fall. But listen to me as I say to you that at the beginning of your August months, 91 days leading up to your scheduled election there has been much plotted and planned by incantations and things that have already been spoken upon the altars of evil that they have released incantations and agendas and ideas to bring about chaos to bring about shutdowns to bring about delays and disruptions but I say to you, do not be like Eutychus that fell asleep in a window in a third story seat that represented the heavens, the place of the throne room, the third heaven, the place where I rule and I reign and you reign with me. But he fell asleep. Yet there are some who have fallen asleep. And I speak to you and I say in this time that arises in the first days of August through your scheduled election, there is much to try to bring fear, even manipulating of weather, to bring about a storm that would arise and cross through the Atlantic, to bring great destruction against your nation, to make it look like there is compassion when there is no compassion. But there is disruption. There is chaos that they seek. But it shall be your prayers. It shall be your watch. It shall be your decree. Even Psalm 91, 91 days. That the things that they desire to do by the day and that which would come and even try to cripple you and distract you by the night would have no power and have no voice. For there is a generation that is rising at this time, as my word says, that shall seek my face. Why do you think the enemy is bent so much, says the Lord, to kill the children in the womb and even outside? Why do you think that there is uprising upon the universities? It's because the enemy fears the generation that is rising and shall arise. They will seek my face. For there is a reset. There are reversals that are in order and in place now. And I need you, my people, to stand in a place where you pray and you call upon my justice. And you pray and you yield to my spirit, but you decree and you declare my goodness. And you will see that preservation prevails over plans of demonic agendas. You will see that I have restored and I will restore the years that the enemy has sought to steal, kill, and destroy. And God said it will not be by the masses, but it will be by the few who have stood, who have prayed, and who have called upon me at this time that I've answered and will continue to answer. For I speak to you and I tell you there is a day coming where you will say from your lips in this country, we remember when because there will be such change 
change for good. I speak to you, God says, many who quote Jeremiah 29. My plan is redemption. It is not of evil. It is to give you help and it is to give you hope. And it's to give you an expected end. I am bringing this country into rest, but I need you through these next few months to stand on watch and guard as I've spoken tonight that the powers of darkness will not distract, delay, or bring chaos and division. But there will be a strange calm that will arise if you pray. As it was when I spoke to the winds and I told it to be still in the time of my disciples' fear in the boat.